Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. What the hell is this? It's been so long since I had to wear it, I've kind of forgot. Welcome back to History of Jank. Three more decks on the wheel for World Superstars format, and you can see we've got Gaga Ga Mecha Phantom Beast, and what I would like to play, Heraldic. Let's give that old wheel a spin and see what comes up. All right, fine, I'll take the MPBs. Ah, yes, ladies and gentlemen, the wheel is back once again for a triumphant return in the history of Jank. You gotta love it when it's here. Let's spin and see what we're going to be playing for today's episode. And it looks like uh, I, I was excited, but now I'm not so sure. I don't know how this losing history of Jank thing started, but I'm putting an end to it right now with this deck, Mecha Phantom Beast. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Mecha Phantom Beast has been around for a while. You've probably heard of their Xyz monster, Mecha Phantom Beast Dracosac, or should I say Dragon Ruler Dracosac. But the Mecha Phantom Beasts are very powerful in their own right. Each of them has a very similar effect. Upon meeting a certain condition, you can summon a token with three stars, and then each Mecha Phantom Beast's level is increased by the total level of all the Mecha Phantom Beast tokens you have on your side of the field. This allows them to easily modulate to level seven, at which point you can overlay for their very powerful Xyz monster, but they they can also get extremely large extremely fast and make some very funny synchro monsters. While historically they've mostly been used as a supplementary engine to Dragon Ruler lists, that's not to say they haven't had their moments. The Mech and Phantom Beasts have a ton of powerful cards within their archetype, which enable a slow, grindy control strategy that ekes out advantage over the course of many turns. Cards like Mecha Phantom Beast O-Line are of course very good when you're summoning them off of Hauka Fibrax, but they're also good for synchro laddering provided you've got so many materials on your side of the field you can afford to do so. And it's during this period that we finally received a critical mass of Mecha Phantom Beast cards. Black Falcon allows you, when it declares an attack, to summon a Mecha Phantom Beast token. Mega Raptor summons a Mecha Phantom Beast token whenever someone else summons a token to your side of the field, and can tribute a token to add a Mecha Phantom Beast from your deck to your hand. And Tether Wolf summons a Mecha Phantom Beast token on Normal Summon. These are exceptionally easy to trigger, and mean that you don't have to mess around with the hamstrat nonsense of setting a card and hoping that your opponent doesn't have more than one monster attacking. O-Line, of course, is extremely powerful, and a great final piece to the puzzle. And it's a wind deck, so uh, we might as well play Reborn Tengu for some powerful synchro plays and survivability as well. After that, we've got a Ryo, Book of Moon, Double Dark Hole, a Foolish Burial, a Raigeki, and the PS de Resistance, the I Wish I Was Dead special, Scapegoat. So the Mecha Phantom Beasts care a lot about tokens. And while they make Mecha Phantom Beast tokens, that's not the only way that you can summon tokens. On your opponent's turn, you can flip up a scapegoat, send the scapegoat to the graveyard to pay for the cost of aerial recharge, and then modulate the levels and abilities of your monsters ad nauseum by keeping an amount of goats on your side of the field. Speaking of aerial recharge, this card is the heart and soul of the deck, allows you to summon a Mecha Phantom Beast token at any time, and during the end phase, tribute a Mecha Phantom Beast monster or a token, or send this card to the graveyard. Because we're a control deck, we're playing a lot of stun tools, including anti-spell fragrance, and Mistake, as well as Solemn Mourning, Torrential, and Vanity's Emptiness, and then a couple of cards for which the deck has a lot of synergy. Uh, tokens are perfect for Compulsory Escape Device, and for tributing for Spiritual Wind Art Miyabi. I'm gonna force the Spiritual Traps no matter what. In the side, we've got Flying Sea, Max Sea, Mystical Space, Typhoon, Fairy Wind, and Mind Crush for decks that are a lot better than the ones that Alex is going to be playing. And in the extra, we've got a 5, an 8, a 6, a 10, a 9, and another 8. We've also got this card, Mecha Phantom Beast Jaculason, which is meant to be made with a level modulated Mecha Phantom Beast monster and an O-Lion, and it's okay. After that, we've got a four, a four, a four, a four, a four, a seven, a seven, and a 
10. Hopefully we won't ever have to make anything other than Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack to win some games. So let's get Alex back in the shirt of shame where he belongs. So Star Seraph is an archetype that most of you might actually be familiar with. During this time, Star Seraph Shadal was actually quite a popular deck because the synergy between the Star Seraphs and the Shadals is there solely because Construct is a fusion that also requires light monsters in order to summon. And, and when it comes to the stick chair combo that allows you to draw a ton of cards, but you're also able to summon multiple monsters that allow you to access the rank four pool that require more than two level four monsters a lot of the time, it, it gives, you know, decks like Shadal obviously a different axis to operate on. But did you know that there exist other Star Seraph cards? And that's what we're going to be playing today. So as you can see, we are just playing pure Star Seraph. I actually think some of these cards didn't even debut in World Superstars. I think some of these were commons or rares in the sets prior. So let's go ahead and discuss them. First, we have Star Seraph Sage. Once per turn, you can send a spell card from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon a Star Seraph monster from your hand. So this is just bad summoner monk. We have Star Seraph Scale, which when it's special summoned, you can special summon a Star Seraph monster from your hand. Then you can place a light monster from your graveyard on top of your deck, which is really nice because that can combo with some of the other cards in this deck. An Xyz monster that was summoned using three or more monsters, including this card on the field. As Xyz material gains this effect, once per turn when this card has Xyz material, if a monster is special summoned from the hand, immediately draw one card. So that's nice to allow you just to be able to synergize with some of the other uh, setups here. We already know about Stick and Chair, but in case you forgot, Star uh, Scepter is kind of like the best one on normal or special summon. You can add a Star Seraph from your deck to your hand, except another copy of Scepter. And then an Xyz monster that was summoned using three or more materials gains the effect that you can target another card on the field, destroy it. And if you do, you can draw one card. That just like sounds insane. Then we have Sovereignty, which again is sort of is like, you know, the other good one that a lot of people remember. It has to be used specifically for an Xyz monster that requires three or more material. And if you normal or special summon a Star Seraph, except during the damage step, you can special summon this from your hand. And if you do draw a card, then you can special summon it if it is a Star Seraph monster. So with scale, you can have some nice setup there. And the last monster is Scout, which on normal summon, you can special summon a Star Seraph from your hand. Uh, better than Sage, because Sage requires you to discard a spell, which is, you know, stupid. Then we have two Summoner Monk, because again, we're just trying to get a bunch of guys out onto the field. And Triple Maxi, rounding out the monsters. The spells, we have Book of Moon, Double Dark Hole, Raigeki, Triple Rank Up Magic, the seventh one. So we're just going to the extreme with this deck and playing not only Xyz monsters that require three or more level fours to go into, but we're also playing their Chaos forms as well. So we're playing not only the seventh one, but we're also playing Quick Chaos as well, which is a way to easily access some of these after we go into them with our Star Seraphs. We have Soul Charge, Triple Upstart, Goblin, Double MST, Compulse, Solemn Morning, Torrential Tribute, and Vanity's Emptiness. For the extra, of course, we have Castell, Exiton, Cowboy, 101, and then Star Seraph Sentry, which is actually a Star Seraph specific Xyz monster. We have number 104, Masquerade. Then we have some of the Chaos versions, uh, Silent Honor Dark. I think I remember during Hat Format, I tried playing a deck where I just played Quick Chaos because 101 was so popular. Sometimes people play two copies of it. And I'm like, hey, what if we rank up into Silent Honor Dark? That'd be fun. And uh, it, this card's crazy. It's not worth the payoff, but you know, it's still crazy nonetheless. We have number C102, Archfiend Seraph, which is the uh, upgrade version of our Star Seraph Sentry. We have Umbral Horror Masquerade, which is the upgraded version of Masquerade. And then we have uh, Conceller Knight Diamond and Deltros, of course. Giant Hand, Giant Red Hand. A lot of people may not realize that Giant Hand actually has an upgraded version. And two copies of Paladynamo, because of course we're playing all lights. Then for the side deck, is just Triple Denko, Double Honest, and MST, Triple Minecrush, Triple Flying Sea, and Triple Fairy Wind. I actually think this deck looks pretty good, and uh, hopefully it's enough to carry us to another victory in history of Jank. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, Joseph, back once again. Got to I gotta say, uh, it, it, we're taking a bit of a reprieve. Anytime we have these wheel decks, I feel a bit at ease because these are slightly above the uh, jank power curve, if you will, where uh, everything else that we get user submitted to us is usually just unplayable garbage. Where this is <laughs> semi-playable garbage. You know, I gotta say, it, it's kind of ironic that the only decks that don't make me wish I was dead. <laughs> <laughs> the irony. The irony. Uh, I think this should be a good matchup. I mean. Just if, if your sleeves are any indication of what you, uh, I, we have to look forward to today, obviously everyone already knows, but uh, I'm excited to see how this one goes. So let's get into it. Shout the patron. MBT stands for most based Twitcher. Thank you for the support. Very you true. Paid for that one, buddy. Very Whoever true. you paid for that one. <laughs> your check is in the mail. You got the hand up? Uh, yeah. Uh, I rolled a five for the number of materials I need under my Xyz monster. Uh, I did three, <laughs> but, you know, probably some of these guys are three. Boo, 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 boo. All right. Uh, you getting to set up, I'm not particularly fond of, but best of Wait. luck anyway. 
I picked an odd number and you rolled an odd number, right? Doesn't that oh, mean I you win. won? Oh, I win. Oh, I mean, I get to go first. I, I'm so out of it. I'm sorry. Things I've been, are going like, well fumbling. today. Ugh. Yeah, things are going well today. I've been fumbling these for the last few weeks. I'm just, apparently I'm not in the right head space. Oh, apparently I'm not in the right any space. This is the best <laughs> hand this deck can produce. This Go ahead, a buddy. Banger. Wow. Oh my God, and it got better? All right, well, you know, time to summon the greatest card in my very off-meta deck. I'm talking about Reborn Tengu. Oh yeah, real off-meta choice wow. we got here. I'll take 17. All right, let's set one and pass it back. Okay, I'll draw. Oh, so <gasps> Joseph. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. Yeah? You fool. Do you know the card that I just drew? I have no idea. Well, let me go ahead and reveal it to you, my friend. It is Rank Up Magic, the seventh one. <laughs> You're fucking arch fiending me, turn two. <laughs> oh, no. Now, if you didn't know, Mr. Rothschild, this card at the start of my main phase one of the same turn that I reveal it, the turn that I drew it, allows me to special summon from my extra decker graveyard a number monster between 101 and 107, except it is a C monster, and bring it to the field. Is that okay, sir? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, I was, I was like, you have a back row. Please let this go through. Please let this go through. <laughs> I don't even know okay. what back row would interact with this. I don't think you could uh, even solemn warning this. Could uh, there's vanity in the format? It gives you the I'm possibility sure. of performing a <laughs> special summon. Later. This is some last will type shit. <laughs> And that's why no one plays this shit. Okay. Now, the question is, what's the best card that I can summon off of this? Because let me tell you, buddy, that's my whole extra deck. I've got plenty <laughs> of cards to choose from. <laughs> okay. Not you. This is the best card I've ever read. I think that might be the answer. Um, I, need, I need to look at the rest. I've never read half of these, so I need to see what I have. That card sucks. Who would ever play that? So after after evaluating the options here, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you in on a little secret. None of these actually actually cleanly deal with a reborn Tengu. I gotta be honest. I was gonna say, unfortunately, because of Broke Boy, I have encyclopedic knowledge of the chaos monsters, and none of them are spot removal that deals with a float. So the closest one I have, and I think just given the circuit, there's some that I really want to summon because some of these are insane. Uh, unfortunately, I think the move yep. is going silent honor arc into silent honor dark. This card is so good. This card's crazy, uh, actually. And I like the artwork, too. It's sick. Oh, yeah. uh, so we'll use the effect. We'll actually just take him as material. This was a normal summoned monster. Oh, wow. This actually doesn't do anything. That Wow, this is truly no, the we, worst card, actually. We can do something else, if you like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, this works. Yeah, I forgot. This has to be special summoned monsters. God damn it. Uh, it, it none of them deal with Tengu. This is so bad. Okay. All right. You know what? Here's what we're going to do instead. Here's what we're going to do instead. Since, since clearly... Clearly, this wasn't bad enough. I have a better idea. I want to go for the card that I'm never going to summon again in my life. Yeah. We're going to go for 104 Masquerade. Oh, no. C104 into is insane. Umbral Horror Masquerade. This card is nuts. If only you actually oh. had an activatable effect that I could use this for. Uh, I will just attack into Tengu. Do you want to pop my spell trap? Oh, I oh my god, this has another. I was reading the Oh no, <laughs> these guys the actual, are crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, okay, sure, we'll do that first. Yeah. Right, I, I'll chain it. It's compulse escape. No! <laughs> <laughs> All the hype for nothing. Okay, fine. He's out of here. Uh, and then we'll go Tangu because hidden information rules don't exist yet. It's very stupid. Very Wee. stupid. Well, this was a good turn. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, uh, stand by, Maine. Uh, let's get this train wreck a rolling. Oh wow, we can really get this train wreck a rolling. Again, just a little more reserved. We're gonna, we're gonna get in. You're really just playing it safe, huh? I'll take 17. Yeah, I think I maybe should be pressing because you could just draw the same card again. Uh, so unfortunately, I did read seventh one. It's a once per duel effect. That is so. the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Don't worry about that, buddy. That's, that's not anything you have to worry about. This is awful. I, I'm Nothing is happening. Dark hole. Uh, okay, well, uh, it's O-Lion and Tengu, so I will get a token and a Tengu. I'm going to vanities that, so you're not going to get anything. All right, well, you know. Scepter! Yeah. Attack! Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll set a back row. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, I got a dark hole too. Oh, great. All right. Uh, I feel like I can press here. We're going to go bio or black falcon rather. E sure. 
Uh, we're gonna try an attack here. And this'll give you a token on attack deck. Interesting. I guess I'll max C to get a card. Sure. I'll take 12 here. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, second main, we're gonna set one back to you. And I will draw. Oh, perfect. Fantastic. Uh, and this has the traditional Becca Phantom Beast text, I imagine, where it can't be killed by battle or card effects. That Correct. is just fantastic. Let's go uh, scale. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll kill the token. Sure. And I will pass. All right. Uh, stand by main. Uh, we are going to normal summon Mecha Phantom Beast Mega Raptor. I will solemn warning. Jeez. All right. We'll go combat. Uh, we'll go Black Falcon. Get uh, your token. We will get our token. Then we will Black Falcon uh, to switch your monster to face up defense. Yep. And then that will kill it. All right, back to you. This is this is fun Yu-Gi-Oh we got going on here. Uh, <laughs> Scepter! Uh, I got a solemn you here, buddy. Okay, sure. I actually just remembered this has an effect that I could have searched before, but that's fine. Uh, go ahead. All right, standby main. Let's wrap this up. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Tether Wolf. Get the token and, and get you got it. Really you cool. got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Give me my, my seventh one fail. That's when it all went downhill. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, when you're playing Rank Up Magic Turbo, I don't really know what else I should have expected out of this deck. Uh, I also, not forgetting my Star Seraph Scepter Search would have, you know, been, oh, oh, fantastic. Okay, great. I love this deck. This is this is peak Yu-Gi-Oh we're playing right here, buddy. Oh, yeah. It's about to get peaker. I'll tell you that. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Bio Falcon. Sure. Wow. God. Uh, I guess 12. Sure. Go ahead. Oh, great. Fun, 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 fun. Uh, we'll go main one. I guess I will set and pass. <laughs> Stand by main. Normal summon Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion. Uh, uh, thinking. thinking. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a back scene, now's the time. Yeah, we're, we're going to drop this here. Uh, oh, okay, all right. Um, I kind of still want to go for it. But you could. It would literally. You could, you're up a game. It would draw you at least two cards. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. I can't. Oh, but it's so good. Okay, can I just kill you? Ah, uh, no, I'm a little off. No, we just got to. We got to play slow. Bio Falcon, no effect. <laughs> Oh, it's mandatory. It, it is mandatory. Right, never yep. mind then. We ain't we ain't attacking shit. Have fun. All right, I'll draw. And Joseph, did you fucking do it again? Would you believe that I drew the seventh one again? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I would. <laughs> I'm playing three of it, so I hope you would believe. Me. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have anything here? Uh, no. Uh, I'm just gonna cry again because you're just gonna escape device all over again. <laughs> well, now uh, you can pick a different guy. I could pick a different guy, but why would I do that? They're all like equal. They're all gonna lose the compulsory <laughs> escape device. I want to do the fun one. No, I mean you could pick a different guy on your field. Yeah, but why would I do that? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we will attempt to pop a back row. Let's roll the die. We'll pop this one. That's the one I needed. Sweet. Let's try to go to battle. That's fine. Thinking. Yeah, we'll go to battle. Uh, let's just take out the O Lion. Sure. You'll take 24. Uh, you making your token, sir? Yeah, I think I have to, right? No, no, it's optional. And then we'll go. Yeah. It is optional, but his effect, Masquerade's effect only triggers with an effect that's on the field. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, we'll go second main, and uh, I'll just pass. Stand by main. Raigeki. Wow. That was anticlimactic. All right. Uh, They're gone. I don't know what to summon here. Uh, let's go normal Mega Raptor. Sure. Uh, I'm going to trigger the effect to go grab a guy. Ah, oh, we don't have blue yet. There's no free special in this deck. <laughs> uh, we are going to grab an O-Lion, shockingly. Um, Shocker. Then we're going to go combat 12. We'll trigger Black Falcon and Mega Raptor here. Yep. And then we'll get in for 19. And back to you. We'll draw. Uh, you can have 1,000 life points. I will take it. Oh, great. Uh, this is wonderful. Do I really have to do this? Do I just have no options? Uh, a dark hole. Ooh, this is a pretty bleak dark hole. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. A dark hole. Okay, <laughs> we're we're gaming. <laughs> I, I, I 
don't want to do anything. I don't think she's good. Fuck it. Star Seraph Sage attack. Yes, I will take 16. I'll pass. I feel like I need to put something up or I'm just going to die. All right, Tether Wolf time. I might be dead anyway. Yep. Ah. I'll take 100 here. Sure. <laughs> Bam. Go ahead. Great. This is the best type of Yu-Gi-Oh, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to activate Soul Charge. Jesus Christ, yeah. I will get back the Sovereignty and the Sage. All right, not so fast there, Buckaroo. You can have this too. Fuck. Really? You're on flight? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, it's not for you. It's for Burning Abyss, but... Uh, I mean, I guess it has it. overlap. I guess it has overlap. Great, fantastic. I'm putting this in defense. <laughs> yeah, Fuck yeah. That. Um, well, this was fun. This was uh this was a good time. I'll set one and pass. All right, we actually get to do some cool stuff. Stand by main. Yep. Uh, normal O lion. Yep. Go for it. Uh, I am going to use the seven star tether wolf and the two star O lion to make Mecha Phantom Beast Jacolison. Woo! I've never seen this card before. Uh, so we're gonna go O lion one Jack two, uh, and Jack is going to tribute Mecha Phantom Beast tokens up to the number in your hand and discard that many. So there goes Star Seraph Scale. Uh, we are going to eat sovereignty here, I believe. Uh, oh, he's gone. Second main, let's set one. Back to you. Yep. Uh, I'll draw. Oh, right on fucking time. Perfect. I, I love this game so much. Uh, go ahead. Send by main. Uh, Tengu time, baby. Sure. Uh, I kind of want to leave the sea around. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> let's go battle. Uh, we'll go Tengu in here. Sure. Uh, we will escape. To put it back in your hand? Come on. Uh, back in the deck, actually, as much as oh, I would even like. even better. Uh, we'll trigger Tengu, and we'll try to get him for dead. lethal. I'm dead. I'm Woo. dead. I'm dead. Oh, my God. You know, this card's so oh, good. Oh, yeah. Multiples. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. It's, it's. I think what's incredible about all the sea monsters is that none of them have protection from anything. Yeah. Like, no, they, they can negate effects sometimes, but even that there's no, like, oh, this can't be destroyed. Like or any of that shit. You want to try the game three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, this has gone well. This is this has gone quite well. <laughs> I, I think like even if I, I was playing so. this deck optimally, I still don't think I would be even remotely close to winning this in the slightest. I will say the reason that the sea monsters are missing all of that really. Oh my god, this hand. Uh, missing all that really powerful text on it. Uh, is because in the anime, they can't be destroyed except by numbers. So you maybe know, that's it why. doesn't matter. Yeah. Right? I guess. I guess. Okay. Well, I actually can do something, I think. Yeah, I want to do something. So, okay. We're going to normal scout. All right. If you'll allow it, yeah, I will no. special summon a star serif from my hand. Yep. We'll go for scepter. Yep. We'll go scepter effect. We won't forget it this time. Mm -hmm. uh, chair is usually the best one to get here. Fortunately, I'm sort of at the end of my little string here. So I guess we'll get it for later. Uh, right. We'll just overlay for two. Not the craziest one. Uh, we'll just make giant hand. Whoa. And I'll uh, set one and pass. Go ahead. Stand by me. Let's book the giant hand. So much for that. Normal black falcon combat. It's fine. Going to get your token. I'll take eight here. Second main, we will set one, two, and pass it back. I guess I'll try to snipe one. Let's go for this one. <sighs> I really wanted to activate Spiritual Wind Art Miyabi. No, you're not on Miyabi. What year is this? It's okay, so we'll crazy. One. Yeah. Okay, you know what else is crazy? Summon Seraph. Yeah. Or uh, Scepter. So we'll go uh, Scepter 1, Sovereignty 2. Yeah. I just realized I'm doing this chain like out of order. I had to draw first. Was it a Star Seraph? Oh! That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Jesus, I'm dead. Glad I took the Sovereignty. Glad I took the Sovereignty. Okay, so we'll get another Sovereignty so we can try to do that again on another turn. Uh, it's just so we can lose to your Compulse Escape device since that seems to be the move. Uh -huh. Um... All right, we can actually like make some dudes here. That's kind of cool. So they all lose to a compulsory escape device like every other time. Let's go, we'll go for three. That's what the deck's trying to do. Let's just go for Deltaros. Let's keep it simple. Okay. Uh, anything here? No. Okay, uh, well, I feel pretty good about that then in that case. Uh, so Onyx Sea Summon, the Scepter will trigger. I'm going to attempt to pop your back row. Uh, it's anti-spell fragrance. 
Oh, okay. Uh, and I get to draw a card because I get pop that. Uh, then I get to use Deltaros's effect here. Let's go ahead and pop your token. And then we'll just go to battle and try to do cleanup here. So we'll go 8 and 25. Not ideal. All right. This deck's actually doing some things. I'll set one and pass. Sure. A uh, hole. Oh, well, so much for doing things. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I don't think I have any Teller Knights in my uh, <laughs> my hand or deck, so I will not be using unlikely. the effect of Delta Rose. Uh, yeah. Ryo? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep. Wow. Take 19. Go ahead. Uh, let's go normal summon scale. Yeah. Special sovereignty. That's fine. Uh, we'll go sovereignty effect... I guess it's all one effect. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, this may shock you. Uh, I did not draw a Star Sarah card, which is actually kind of surprising. That's literally all I'm say. I, I don't know. That's that does surprise yeah. me. Uh, so now here's the problem. Ryo can negate any extra deck summon. Correct. So that is a problem for me. I think I just need to bait it out anyway, because otherwise I'm just like uh, not doing anything. So sovereignty has <laughs> to be part of a three mat. We're not going to be making a uh, anything then. Good thing sovereignty has a big butt. I will just uh, set one and pass the turn. Stand by me. Oh, thank God. Tengu. Shit. Yep. All right. Uh, Ryo into, you know, let's play around honest. Bada bing. Sure. I'll take four, uh, two here. Yeah. Oh, that's all I got going. Draw. That would be pretty good if I could actually do something. You can't out sovereignty. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> mm, it's not right. Uh, Tether Wolf. Oh, shit. That actually does out sovereignty. Ah, da, 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 da. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, I will, on the activated effect of Tether Wolf, I will Vanity's Emptiness. Now we are just chilling. Indeed. This is good gameplay. You're going to deck out first. I'm feeling good. I, I am going to deck out first. That's yeah, I, I did not account for that when I flipped this emptiness. I mean, I'm not going to do it, so go ahead. Okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> go. Hmm. Good. You said you know what the play is. Yeah, waiting. Yeah, waiting for Raigeki. I know that that's the, the actual play. Go to end phase and pitch rank up magic the seventh one. That's so funny. <laughs> it's real good when you draw it when Vanity's Emptiness is active. There we go. Okay. Escape device also does it for you. Escape device would do it because I would put back the sovereignty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'll set one and pass. Get in there, Ryo. It's Maxi. All right. <laughs> oh, shit. That actually turns it off. All right. Second main. Uh, flip summon O-Lion. All right. Um, let's go. Oh, how do we want to do this? I actually have to clear my own field here, sadly. I'm okay with that. I know. I bet you are. All right. We're going to go aerial recharge to sure. summon a token. Two, That's the opposite of clearing your field, by the way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for Mistworm. Uh, we're going to go... Okay. Tengu, oh, Tengu's mandatory, right? Yep, so it's chain one. All right, we're going to use Ryo rather than uh, than Tengu in that case. Okay. Uh, deciding if I want to do Mistworm, I'll put the back row back in hand. Normal Black Falcon. Let's overlay here for Dracosac. Because they're sevens. Yeah, sure. Dracosac, let's eat the sovereignty and a token. And let's also Dracosac to summon some tokens. Okay. Uh, end phase, we will aerial recharge to keep a token around. Okay. All right, back to you. <clears throat> Stand by main. Yeah. Um, I've got some really cool shit that I can do. Unfortunately, I figure that one back row is going to uh, stop me from doing everything. Otherwise, you wouldn't have made a push like this. Uh, we're going to try it anyway. Summoner Monk. Yes. Activate. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. I guess we're going to go all in. Uh, we will get from the deck a Star Seraph Scale. Yes. Uh, Star Seraph Scale on special summon. I can special a Star Seraph from my hand, if you'll allow it. That's fine. Uh, so we will go for a Star Seraph scale. All right. Uh, then I also get to put a light monster back on top of my deck. Can you so think I of one we'll you might be putting? Yeah. There's there's one in particular that I want to put on the top of my deck. There's just one in particular. Yep. New chain, this other Star Seraph scale will activate. And so we will summon Star Seraph Sage. 
Uh, and then I can also do the same thing again if I so wish. I don't really think I care that much. I can just go double chair. That's kind of sick. It seems sure, all right. right. Yeah, it seems okay. Uh, then I will use the effect of my sage to pitch the third, seventh good, one good. for another copy of sage. Good. That's what I like to see. <laughs> okay. So apparently this is what this deck is trying to do. All right. Is, uh, just in, five monsters on the field. In fear of Rongo Nimiad, he's what? Four warriors or four? You need warriors, okay. which none of the monsters I'm, on the I'm field okay fulfill that case. condition. Uh, so now we have to figure out how the fuck we're actually doing anything at this point. We'll go the two scales here. Going to try for a... Uh, we'll go 101 on the Mistworm. Take it. Then we'll go these two for Castell. Uh oh. Get rid of the Draco sack. Uh, sh sure. I'll just go battle here, I guess. I know you still have Tengu's in the deck that I'd have to go through, but mm -hmm. uh, whatever. Uh, we'll go. I guess the token could possibly be. I mean, you can just get the token with aerial recharge, so I don't think that really matters. Uh, we'll just try to go through some Tengus. Uh, I'll take three here. We'll go grab a Tengu. And take four from this nether one, unless you have something to stop it. Nope. Unfortunately, because I already used Deltaros, that was like the extent of all the cool shit that I could do. Or was it? Quick oh. Chaos on the 101! Cool. <laughs> For Silent Honor Dark! That's kind of sick, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, uh, we'll go. I'm just going to... This time, I'll clear the token. And then main two, I'll use the effect of dark. I'll take Tengu. That's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. And uh, that's, that's going to do it. I'm going to chill. All, All right. right, we are going to aerial recharge for a token and then immediately sack it off. Yep. All right, stand by me. Uh, we're going to normal summon Mega Raptor here. Okay. We'll activate recharge. Get a token. We'll sure. activate Mega Raptor. Uh, Fine. let's go combat and eat the fucking summoner monk. Sure. Second main will go Mega Raptor. We will grab Tether Wolf, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll go End Phase Tribute. You good? Yep. Uh, I will just go battle here, I guess. Mm -hmm. Attack. On attack deck, we'll go Goats. Goats, huh? Okay. Yeah, weird, right? Shocking that a token deck would be playing this. So I can go for damage. I know you have Tether Wolf. And Mega Raptor, you contribute any token. Just wanted to make sure that that was the case. It uh, is. Which is pretty good. Uh, I guess we'll just clear some tokens. Sure. And uh, we'll just set one and pass. All right, this sucks. Uh, I'll tribute the Mega Raptor for aerial recharge. Yep. Oh, one token or Mecha Phantom Beast Monster. Thank God. All right, we'll just get one of these guys out of here. Uh, okay, we are going to go Recharge here, and then uh, Mega Raptor. Uh, we're going to go Mega Raptor Effect. We'll grab um, Black Falcon. Uh, we're going to Normal O-Lion. Two, nine, ten for Leo. Oh, God. Uh, we're going to go O-Lion here. Okay. Combat. Uh this is weird. I actually can't really out the dark here, can I? While it has material, so I'd have to pop it twice. Basically. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, Well, I think I'm just actually attacking the Castell here. Like 11? Yeah. Uh, we'll go second main. I will set this, and I will proceed to end step and tribute. These are both Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. Yes, because uh, so your I'll goats were on the right. Sure. Yes, we try for it. Uh, Normal Sovereignty. Yes. Special sovereignty. Yeah. <laughs> See what we get. Oh, I am so good at this game. Banger. Uh, let's... Do I even have anything good that I can make is the question? Problem is Leo can't be targeted, so that makes things quite frustrating. Let's go for... <laughs> we, we've done it every other game. Umbral Woo! Horror Masquerade. Wait, uh, can you? You need to go the first one first, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, what am I doing? It's the <clears> other one. <throat> It's the much worse version of this card. <laughs> I just put two and two together. Masquerade is an umbral horror card? Right, right. How do they right, make that? There we go. Okay. 
I, I skipped a step. Uh, I skipped a okay, step. Okay, all right. <laughs> now you can now you can understand why I was getting ahead of myself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, effect, go after your back row. Uh, which back row? The the not aerial recharge one. It is scapegoat. Oh, okay. Uh, we will go to battle. Yes. Uh, we'll take out your token. No. Second main, uh, dark effect. Take Leo. My main phase two. Oh, your main phase two. Oh, this sucks. This card's right, insane. All right, we're going to do the uh, aerial recharge yoinky splinky here. Sure, sure. Uh, well, I don't know how I'm beating them. I, well, one of them I, I think I've figured out. Uh, there's this thing called the battle phase. The battle phase, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Every Louise. every single one of these chaos monsters, or like even their like non chaos forms, has to target for it to use the effect. So I'm just like, oh my god, this is terrible. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I think I have figured out a way over the course of two turns I can do this. I don't know how I'm gonna do it over one. Normal summon Black Falcon. God, these guys are so big. Holy giant. shit a mole. You, you know what's bigger? Leah. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's large and in charge. All right, let's uh, attack the Umbral Horror Masquerade. Yeah, unfortunately. All right. All my resources gone. Uh Oh, I really want to generate the token. You have no idea how much I want to generate the token. <laughs> uh, wait, I can... No, I can't even get around it. I'm like, I can aerial recharge, send it to defense, Black Falcon, attack get the token, and then it dies at end phase to aerial recharge, right? That's how this card works. All right, I'm just chilling. I'm chilling like a villain. We're going to set one more. We'll do the old aerial recharge yoinky splinky, and you are good to go. I'll draw <laughs> by my dark's hand. All right, we're going to go recharge for a token. Of course. And we're going right. to move that guy to defense. I'll go. He gets set, right? Space no, no, down face defense. up defense. Oh, face up defense. Okay, that's fine. No, this card's uh, awful. We'll set. Go ahead. All right, goodbye, Black Falcon. You served me well. Stand by main. Uh, recharge. Uh, normal tether wolf. Uh, to get big enough to hit over the dark when it resurrects itself. I guess I'll warning. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, that's fine. Um, we will go to combat and we'll attack here. Sure, you're gonna do this anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he goes, use the effect, bring him back. I gain 2,800. Yeah. That's why I didn't care about warning. <laughs> uh, second main, let's uh, set one and end phase. Goodbye, my token. Don't know how I'm adding this Leo. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, go. <laughs> uh, end phase, scapegoat. Oh, geez. And we'll sure. tribute one for the recharge. It's fine. Stand by main. <laughs> no. Uh, normal O lion. Uh oh. Yep. Two, three, four, five for our mateys keeper of boundaries. Yeah. Uh, Love this guy's artwork. O lion so recharge combat. Yep. Uh, three. Make it twenty one. Twenty three. Yeah, twenty three. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Set one end phase recharge. Go ahead. Mistake. Draw. Well, at least it doesn't stop Upstart Goblin. That's so very that. true. <laughs> it also doesn't stop Dark Hole, so there's that. Uh, that is also true, regrettably. Uh, sure. <laughs> How did all of a sudden we have this like crazy game three? <laughs> Go all right, ahead. we'll we'll do it. Uh, stay yep. by main. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Go ahead. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, come on. I need monsters. I probably went through them all. <laughs> I, I know. That's where I am, too. I, I added them all. Oh, geez. That's really not good. Uh, go ahead. Uh, oh, my God. I got to do it. Like, I got to do it. <laughs> holy shit. Yep. Okay. So the question now becomes, do I go after some level fours or do I just get some of the big fuckers that I've summoned over the course of this game? The large men. Rank up quick chaos actually treats the summon as an exceed summon. So that means they were properly summoned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, screw it. Uh, I'll target dark and masquerade. Yeah. Uh, this is very funny. Masquerade triggers here, so I'll do that. Oh, shit. Does it? <laughs> On special summon. Yeah, that's all it says. Uh, sure. I'll go after one of the back row. I don't care about your other cards. Pop this one. It's Miyabi. Miyabi? You're just looking for any opportunity to Miyabi me. I'm on 900, Joseph. Go ahead. I I'm going to be honest with you. I think I have three total monsters left in the deck. <laughs> that is, uh, not one of them. Uh, Raigeki. Fuck. Of course he has fucking right, Geki. Oh, no. 
Uh, recharge, recharge. Monster, no! <laughs> oh, come, come on, on, come on, dude! Oh, recharge! <laughs> Mega Raptor. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Combat. Wow. This. Is, oh my God. This is so bad. I'll compulse the Mega Raptor. You got it, my friend. <laughs> nope. Go ahead. Okay, take another thousand. I will. Oh! Oh! We did it! It's a monster! Uh, <laughs> Attack! I, this still dies to Mega Raptor, I feel like. I do have a play, which is... No, I'll take it. I'll take it. 12. I'll pass. Uh, we'll do the Spoinky. Uh, let's go recharge. Yep. Normal Mega Raptor. <laughs> what does he have set? Combat? Book the Mega Raptor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Um, is that ugh, end phase tribute? S space the recharge. Okay. There's hope. Uh, spell There's fragrance. hope. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What else? What else could you have? What else could you have? What else could you have? Um, uh, there's like escape device. There's uh. What else would you have? <laughs> what am I playing around? Where's Avarice? <laughs> Battle? Yeah. Attack? Yeah, I have to escape device here. Oh my god! This goes to deck. I'm sorry. It's, the problem is... This is crazy! I, I have no problem taking it, but he is one of three monsters, again, remaining in the deck. Second main, I'll set, because oh, I'm afraid Christ. I'm going to die. Good. <laughs> Draw. <gasps> Scepter. Oh shit! You do not have targets. <laughs> oh, you do. I you just shuffled one, one back. back. You shuffled one back. Oh wait! Uh, you're a mistake. <laughs> no, I'm under mistake. I can't do it. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I can't search. I can't. It's fine. He's 1800. I don't care. That's, that's like it's it's a thing. It's a thing. Okay. What else? What else could you possibly have? <laughs> it could be another escape device. <laughs> this is crazy. This is nuts. <sighs> Could be another escape device. You have Miyabi's. It could be that. It could be another recharge. Could be another uh, mistake. Anti. It could be like any of this shit. Okay, here. Okay, we're gonna attack. That's fine. I think. God damn it. I think I have to do this. I don't have to. Okay, so you have. You shuffled back the Mega Raptor. The problem is, if you're on three Mega Raptor, that means there's two Mega Raptors still in your deck. You're out of Black Falcons. You also still have Tether Wolf, and Tether Wolf also is large. So the issue is, if I just leave the Scepter here, you have a pretty good likelihood if you're playing three of all of these. There's like a three in 12 chance you would actually have a draw that clears Scepter, and that's a problem. So I think I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna flip Summoner Mon. I'm gonna make Exiton. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will go ahead and Exiton and just wipe the field. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, and getting rid of recharge is good too. All right, go ahead. Fuck, do I beat this? Well, draw. I'll go spell smoke. Nineteen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How is this this close? I'll set one. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Draw, try for it. Oh, you got it. Oh, oh my god. god. That was what insane. a crazy game. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. What a disaster. Everyone's going to everyone's going to watch the first two games of this and be like this was the most boring shit imaginable. And then they're going to see that there's 30 minutes remaining in the recording and they're like how? There is no way that that's possible. <laughs> oh my god. What a what a monstrosity. There's a lot to talk about here. Yeah. Uh we can start with we can start with your deck. Uh Mecha Fan of Beast. It's sick. It's awesome. Yeah, so the Mecha Phantom Beast had a couple of stints of playability. Um, you know, people most remember it for its application in uh, Dragon Rulers. There was a short period of time where, like, people were experimenting with Tether Wolf because it's, like, fine in that deck. It's uh, a wind for Tempest. It's a seven on normal summon. Uh, the same way that people were playing, like, Psy Beast pre-second wave of Kash Tira support. Um, sure. And, of course, uh, O-Lion has been on the ban list for a short period of time, just because of Halka Fibrax. Uh, but those two cards are really powerful. And uh, even post those cards, cards like Hamstrat do kind of loom large in players' consciousness because they are frustrating to deal with. Aerial recharges the culprit in most of those situations. 
the thing about Mecha Phantom Beast is while Dracosac is widely remembered as a uh, dragon ruler monster, it is really accessible in Mecha Phantom Beast. It's mm -hmm. not difficult to get into it, and any deck that can make this card with pretty uh, frequent consistency is definitely a contender in any format. Uh, they have this, like, repeatable Stratos in Mega Raptor that's got 1900 attack, which is really nice. The cards all talk about tokens, period, not Mecha Phantom Beast tokens, so, like, yep. Scapegoat synergizes decently with the archetype. There's all this, like, these weird cards that were unexplored historically, but now with the benefit of hindsight, we realize we're actually crazy in their associated format, like Compulsory Escape Device, uh, its interaction yep. with the tokens and with Tengu. Spiritual Windar Miyabi, for as much shit as it gets, is uh, like a type of removal that the format isn't really um, prepared to deal with. And uh, most importantly, you get to play this card, Mecha Phantom Beast, uh, Jaculason, which is not good. <laughs> but he's nine stars. It's also it's also not hard to see too, like with when you play a bunch of floodgates like anti spell mistake and the like that once you're set up, like it, it's really hard to deal with a deck yeah. like this just because it starts just putting out so much pressure, uh, especially like because you have Tengu and the like as well. It's it's I like I could see this like you know reasonably just like causing issues at you know regionals and the like potentially. Mm -hmm. uh, initially, I was I was making fun of this deck because everyone knows Stick Chair from Star Seraph Shadal, and in that deck it's crazy because you actually are playing it in a good deck. The other Star Seraph cards uh, don't seem very good, and that's because they're not, but when you actually have the planets aligned, or I should say the stars aligned in the instance of Rank of Magic, the seventh one, and you're able to go Monk into Scale into Scale into Sage into Sage because you bricked on every Rank Up Magic that your deck contains, so you're able to pitch three spells to do that, then uh, that's like the best case scenario for this deck because then you're actually able to not only go into multiple Xyz monsters, some of which even take uh, three level fours, but then you can also use the Quick Chaos cards and take advantage of stuff like Silent Honor Dark, or uh, I mean, I don't want to say take advantage of Masquerade, because I honestly never use this fucking thing. Some of the other worse ones, like Archfiend Seraph is in here as well. This is just like a worse version of uh, of Umbral Horror, in my opinion. And then, uh, funny enough, a lot of people may not know that Giant Hand actually has a Chaos Monster equivalent. Yes! <laughs> Imagine even a prize card, a Chaos Monster. That this That's hilarious to me. The Chaos so, Monsters uh, are so cool. I just wish they were better. Yeah, I agree. It, it's it's unfortunate that for the amount of investment required, I think realistically Dark is the only one that's viable in any capacity because people are already playing 101. Mm -hmm. And so it's not unthinkable to splash like quick chaos in your deck just because if you were playing, especially back then they were playing multiple 101s as well. Mm -hmm. You could upgrade one into Dark and Dark is like big, but like the payoff isn't really worth like playing these like bad cards in your deck. I think what this deck's also lacking, uh, at least in the version that I uh, was playing, I'm missing just other three mat things because we're playing so much of the chaos stuff. Like we have Deltaros, but we're missing like Ouroboros and Ouroboros is insane, especially mm -hmm. if you have uh, a scepter underneath it. So we just had, we didn't have the generic three mat rank fours that uh, really just stood alone. We just had a bunch of the chaos ones in here. But yeah, I mean, rank four turbo, I mean, we, you, everyone knows this story from Yu-Gi-Oh's history. It's pretty much been, and ever since Xyz existed, people have just been trying this out. And this is just taking that to the extreme and then playing a bunch of bad cards like the rank up stuff just to just to flex, essentially. That, that's really all you're doing with this deck. Very fun game three though, Joseph. Very fun game three. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout outs to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medulce, Moto Cameron L. Smith, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Phoenix the Immortal, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Little Fade Leaf, Chris Hood, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Dalton, Inuno Taisho, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, I've tried reading cards before, it was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy, Helios515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Players Soon, Corvain, Grey Nine, and Micah Pierce. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.